What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FB, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. Today we are going to be unboxing the Nike Vapor Edge 360 speed football cleats, so let's get right into it. Here they are guys, Nike Vapor Edge 360 speed unboxing. First things first, gotta check out the box. This is your standard white Nike box. Um, Nike Vapor Edge 360 speed, size nine. Yes, I have small feet once again. Um, this is a black and white colorway, so pretty standard. Um, yeah, so let's let's dig into it. All right, so like I said, these are the black and white colorway. Here they are right here. So this is the low cut version um, from Nike. They are gonna be the cheapest. I think they are either 90 or $95. Um, they look amazing. So first impression is something you guys can't really see, but I can feel it. And it's kind of like a rubberized material on the top of this, this synthetic overlay. It's very, it's kind of grippy almost. It's, it's kind of similar to the palms on the Hydra Grip football gloves. You guys are familiar with that. It's just kind of a weird grippy material that I have not seen on any other cleats. All right, let's grab the second cleat out of the box and then close the box, get it out of our way. All right, guys, so here they are. They look pretty good. Um, love the black and white, pretty clean. Um, I know this white on the inside is gonna get super dirty. Um, I grew up playing on grass fields, so white does not last very long for me personally, but all you guys on turf, I'm sure it'll last a little bit longer. All right, guys, first thing I wanna say is yes, these cleats did come out in 2020, but Nike is not releasing another vapor cleat for 2021. So I figured we would get an unboxing and review up on the channel for you guys who have not purchased these cleats and maybe will in the future. Let's dig deeper into these cleats, talk a little bit about what I see first and some of the things I notice, and yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so first thing I want to talk about is the looks of the cleat. Like I said, this black and white is really, really clean. I love this kind of speed Nike logo graphic. It goes the entire it goes the entire length of the cleat, and I think it looks really cool. It does say Vapor on the side, 360 speed system, pretty cool. Um, it does say Vapor 360 speed on the tongue as well. The tongue is paper thin, which is kind of crazy. I love how that looks. I'm sure it feels just as good. Then on the medial side of the cleat, we have another Nike logo. This is just a white outline with a black filling, and it does say engineered for speed, and again, has this kind of weird speed graphic, which looks pretty smooth. I like it a lot. Also, something to note, these are traditional laces. The pros and the elites look a little bit different. You guys will see in different videos, um, but they, they have regular traditional laces. They are super similar to the Nike Vapor Untouchable Speed 3s, just as far as looks go. Let me grab a pair for you guys. So here's the Nike Vapor Untouchable Speed 3 I was just talking about. They look incredibly similar. It looks like they didn't change too much. Uh, these have round laces, these have flat laces, and the traction plate is different. We're gonna talk about that shortly, but overall, it looks like they pretty much stayed true to the, the initial design of this cleat. Um, nothing too crazy, but yeah. All right, it's time to dig deeper onto the inside of the cleat. Let's see what makes this thing go. Um, first thing I'm noticing is these very interesting ankle pads, I guess you could call them. They're very they're very prominent. They stick out a lot. Um, I'm sure they're going to get matted down as you use them more and more. Um, but the padding in here is super thick and super soft, which is a good sign for me. I love when my ankle has that nice solid support around it. Um, feels really good. Also, I talked about it a little bit earlier is this smooth, thin tongue. I just know this this feels good on the top of your foot. Like I said, it's similar to the Vapor Untouchable Speed 3. Um, it's a good feeling tongue. You barely feel like it's even there. I love, love, love how that feels. All right, guys, it's time to take out the insole and see what they're hiding underneath. Let's see if I can even get it out. Oh, sometimes Nike glues them down, so I think I'm ripping up the glue, but it's for science, all right? Bam. All right, so here's the Nike insole. Um, you're gonna have a Nike logo, logo, and then, ooh, and then this is where it gets kind of interesting. Check out this kind of like grid-like pattern. But the cool thing about it, you guys don't know yet, is that these little stud things or whatever actually line up in there. So the insole is not sliding around. It has this heavy duty uh, plastic shank is what the designers call it. Um, and it keeps it stiff, um, but also springy. It kind of replaces the carbon fiber that they've had in past models. Like I said, still stiff, still springy. And it lines up great with this insole. This insole is not going to be moving around on you. So that's an, an amazing sign. All right, guys, let's talk about this traction plate. So this is a brand new traction plate. Well, technically it's not. Like I said earlier, these cleats released in 2020, but they are running them for two years on a two year cycle. So these are brand new technically to some people. So let's talk about the traction plate. This is the edge traction plate. It is called the edge traction plate because it has these edge studs on the outside. So these studs are strategically placed on the outermost of your foot so you can cut and change direction with ease. I've tested it before, it's amazing. Um, we will get a full review on these cleats soon, um, but it feels really good, easy to cut, easy, easy to change directions, easy to get in and out of cuts. It's a great, great feeling traction plate, I love it. So something you guys probably noticed is it is a two-piece traction plate. You've got the, 
the front foot up here and then you've got the heel part back here. Back here is just four triangular studs and then up here is where all the edge technology takes over. What I love about this traction plate is that they do have these amazing sharp studs so you can change direction so quickly, no problem. They grip it in the ground, great. Turf, dirt, whatever. So there's not much else to talk about these cleats. Like I said, this is just an unboxing. I'm giving you guys my first impressions. Um, there's gonna be a full review coming soon and I'm gonna tell you guys all about this cleat, how it performs, how it feels. So stay on the lookout for that. So there you guys go. There's the unboxing of the Nike Vapor Edge 360 speed. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this cleat. And if you guys did enjoy this video, consider hitting like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. My name is Devin, also known as FB, and thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Footballers.